do you sound like a robot when you read your podcast script? So if you've ever thought, wow, I do not sound the way I thought I would when you record your podcast, friends, this is the episode for you. So the most popular episode of this podcast that you're listening to right now, which by the way is called Podcasting for Fun and Profit, it's hosted by me, Leighton Hart, was an episode about how to script your podcast, how to write a script for your podcast. Hands down the most popular episode so far. In fact, from what I can tell from the analytics, it looks like that video has been picked up as part of a class assignment in India. Uh, so it's still getting hundreds of hits on my YouTube channel, which I think is really cool. So all my friends in India, I hope that episode was helpful. If you ever want me to come teach in person, uh, by all means, say the word. I'd love to visit your wonderful country. Anyway, what that tells me is that writing a script for your podcast is a hot topic. And it's not everyone, it's not one that everyone sees eye to eye on. Um, not everybody thinks that you should have a script for your podcast. That's not how everybody approaches their work. Um, some people just like having notes. We'll get to that later. But let's get back to this original question, this problem of do you sound like a robot or do you sound different when you record your podcast than you do like in your head when you're writing it? Do you not sound the way that you thought you would? One listener, our listener Luca, says he's rewritten the script for his first podcast about five times. He says when he writes it, everything's great, but something goes just off the rails when he goes to record it. He says, I feel like an idiot when I go to record it and I don't know what to do anymore. Luca, my friend, I hear you. <laughs> I really feel this. It's been a huge challenge for me too. I struggle with it constantly. I have not solved this problem, but I have a few things that may help. You know, I write out a script for this podcast every week. And in fact, if you're watching on YouTube, you will see that I rarely look directly at you on the camera. It's because I'm reading the script word for word. So for me, this script is, it's my security blanket. I'm a much better writer than I am an impromptu speaker. So having this script ensures that I can make all the points I want to share with you without skipping over anything. But Luca is right. And I'm wondering if this happens to you too. What happens to me is I write this script and when I go to read it into the mic, it just sounds so much different in my head when I'm writing it than it does when I record it out loud. It's even happening right now. So in my head when I'm writing, the voice that I hear in my head, this voice is very dynamic, very engaging. But in real life, I have a tendency to mumble and I can often settle into a low monotone, which is insanely boring. Just this low monotone. Blah, 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 blah. It makes people fall asleep. I realize. So when I'm reading the script for my podcast, I, I try to overcompensate for that monotone, and I think I end up sounding weird. I, I think I almost sound a little too much like a radio announcer and not as much just like a friend having a conversation with you, which that's what I'm actually going for. I just want it to sound conversational. All that being said, here's the advice that I would share with Luca and anyone else if you find yourself in this predicament. Here's how to write a script you don't sound cheesy reading and that won't bore your listeners. The first thing to remember is that your English teacher can't get you anymore. <laughs> a, a lot of us still write as if we're in English class in middle school and we're terrified of getting a paper handed back to us that has our teacher's dreaded red ink all over it. There is such a huge difference though between writing in a way that influences people and keeps them engaged and writing the way that your English teacher taught you to write, you know, like a three sentence paragraph and supporting idea, you know, all this, all that stuff. Writing for an audience, especially if it's a, like a script like this or for your podcast, that you're gonna be reading for someone to hear rather than writing something for them to read, um, that, type of, that type of writing, that script writing can be so much more casual and personal than writing to be read or writing for your English teacher. It can be so much more casual and personal. In fact, if you were to look at this script that I'm reading to you right now, you'd see all kinds of problems with it in terms of punctuation and layout and all that. But hopefully, right now it's coming off just, just like we're talking. So that's the first thing to remember. You're, writing, you're not writing a paper to hand into a teacher for a grade. That's not what you're doing. So go ahead and write the way that you want to be heard. The second thing that I'd encourage you to do, and this sounds crazy, it's kind of a weird habit to get into, but stick with me. 
Second thing to do is to say the words you're writing out loud as you write. Say the words you're writing out loud as you write. This is a habit that I picked up several years ago when I was studying direct response copywriting. And that's a style of writing that's very conversational. And this has helped me tremendously. So here's how this works. I literally sit at my keyboard and talk as I type. So it's almost like self-dictation. I'll give you a little example of what, of what it sounds like. And here's what it sounds like when I type the way I talk. It's slower than I normally talk. So that's that's kind of how I do it. I sort of talk out loud as fast as I can type, which isn't super fast, but um, but basically I'm uh, I'm taking notes on what I'm saying uh, instead of like, how do I explain this? Okay, so the reason this trick works, the reason this tri trick works, this is what I'm trying to say, is that instead of processing your thoughts as writing to be read out loud later, um, you're processing your ideas as uh, spoken words. You're processing your ideas verbally and simply jotting them down in writing as a byproduct. So Luca and, and anyone else out there that struggles with this same issue, like I said, I do too, try talking out loud to yourself as you write your script and see if that helps. And y'all, it might take some practice, but give it a shot. See if it's right for you. It may not be right for you. You may find that writing a script is, is just too time consuming. I mean, after all, one of the reasons many of us got into podcasting in the first place is because it just doesn't take as much time to produce a podcast as it does to make a video or write a lengthy blog post. And on top of that, most of us got into this because we wanted to have fun in the process. So if you're getting stressed out about writing a script and then we get in our heads about how the script doesn't sound the way when we read it out loud as it did in our brains when we were writing it, well, then podcasting isn't as much fun anymore. And this is podcasting for fun and profit, right? So don't assume that you need a script necessarily. I know a lot of people who are really good at just taking a topic and just riffing on it for 10 or 15 minutes and then just saying, well, that's our episode for the week, for today. Uh, let's see you next week. And, and it turns out to be a great episode. It turns out really well. That's not me. I can't do that. Or maybe you're somewhere in between. Like maybe you want to find the middle ground between completely improvising and having every word planned out. Find the middle ground between those two. And if that's you, one thing you can do is just grab a post-it note and write down a few prompts for yourself. That way you're coming in knowing that what you're going to talk about and you have the post-it note to keep the ideas in order to jog your memory if you space out for a second. So at the end of the day, you want to go with the system that, that helps you feel most confident and most yourself behind the mic. Oh, and since we're talking about saving time and delivering the best product possible for your audience, y'all have got to head over to PodPage and set up your free landing page for your podcast. I did this recently. I couldn't be happier. My free landing page from PodPage has my show name and description. It has all my episodes in one place, has ratings and reviews, and PodPage will even let you collect emails from your listeners and schedule your guests straight from your PodPage. It is so simple to set up. All you do is go to PodPage and you enter the name of your podcast and they do the rest. It's fast. It's free. Best of all, it looks really nice. You can use my link that's in the description here uh, to set up your free podcast landing page at PodPage. It's in the description for this episode. Friends, that's it for this week. Until next time, go make something cool this week.